Let's go a look uh, ahead and look at number five on this. Got an isometric sketch, and this is a fairly fairly complicated uh, drawing right here. So we've got an isometric, and we need to convert this into 2D or orthographic. So just like always, I'm going to start with an origin point. My origin point is going to be right there. I'm going to label my origin point right there. It's too high, right there. And if I look at this, even though I'm looking right there, I'm going to look in the back line for how long it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's double check that. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's my bottom edge. Okay? If I look at over here, it is one, two, three, four high. One, two, three, four high. That corresponds to this edge right here. Now, let's see. This line goes all the way across from this point to that point. So I will have it just like so. And it has an outside edge going all the way up, which is one, two, three, four, five up. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like so. It is one, two, three, four over. One, two, three, four over. Oops. Goes one down. And then one, two, three, four over. Uh, then I have this detail to contend with, which is too wide and it intersects with that line. So, that right there. This is my front view of this object. Drawing some construction lines up, corresponding with all my details, I'll work on my top view. Origin point right there, and my origin point is going to correspond with that point right there. It's two up, okay, which is that right there. And then it's also, let me project this up so I can see a little bit better. It's two up, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six wide. So I'm going to have a rectangle, one, two, three, four, five, six wide. And in ISO drawings, you can always project up to help you count. This back point, which corresponds to that, is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, which corresponds to my construction line. Go right across right there. And let's see, goes one down over. So I've got this right here, comes two this way like so, and then it goes all the way except two across. So I'm going to go like that. Now my construction lines say that I have something here. So this construction line is pointing out this detail. So that is that. This construction line is pointing out, oh, let me close that. This construction line is pointing out this detail. So if I check this out, I want to close it with an angle, which is this line. And if I look at this, this angle, this detail, is two away from the front, and it's too wide. So the top view will look like this. So take inventory. I've got this flat part right there. I've got this flat part right there. I've got my angled part right there. I've got this angled part right there. Okay, now for the front view, I have my construction lines. I'm going to bring everything across. Start with my origin point, which will again be that. Uh, it is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six wide. Two, three, four, five, six wide. 
just like so. Um, if I look at this side, which is going to correspond with that, it is one, two, three, four high. One, two, three, four high. This is too wide. Too wide, and that line goes straight down. Just like so. Now from there, okay, we've got it four wide, but it also goes one more up. And you can see that this corresponds with my construction lines. And then right here, it goes two up, like so. It goes two over, like that. And then, okay, look, it connects with this. So it goes all the way over like so. Two over, and then it connects like that. So this will be my side view. Again, this is a complicated um, multi-view drawing. So stop this video, rewind, replay as many times as you need to get it.